Tucked away in the south end. So cool to be able to come through the entrance. Below a luxury apartment building. Go down this labyrinth of stairway. Boston's newest tiki bar, Shore Leave. There was a day and age where like going to a Trader Vic's was something that the average everyday person did all of the time and they fell by the wayside for one reason or another and are now in this really awesome kind of renaissance that we're really happy to be a part of. We really wanted to focus on food that had a, a little bit of Pacific Rim inspiration but was really about being easily eaten with your fingers with friends. We just wanted to make it delicious and salty and things that you wanted to eat with tropical drinks. Chef Colin Lynch says popular dishes include chicken satay with peanut sauce, lettuce cups with apple and blue cheese, and the salmon poke tostadas. But the favorite, banh mi sandwiches with a twist. The style of a club sandwich, so it's like a layered, multi-level banh mi sandwich, which is really fun. And then we just put a burger on that's really great. Not really a flat patty burger, but also not like a big tavern burger. It's like a short order, like you get almost like at a diner style burger. So it's really easy to eat. Fun, delicious. But back to the drinks. And forget your images of tacky tiki. This is modern tiki, says beverage director Ryan Lotz. I don't think there's anything bad with classic tiki. In fact, I really, really love it. But I also love the realm of exploration that it allows. I think it's kind of ripe for reimagining what it can be in modern times. And our goal is to kind of maintain that kind of escapist, a little bit over the top, a little bit extra, uh, wherever we can be attitude towards cocktails. Like their signature shore leave cocktail, served in a plastic coconut and mixed with a blend of international and local rums. There's a molasses component to the cocktail, as well as a really heavy dose of Angostura bitters, but it adds this really beautiful kind of warming spice to the drink. In the mood to share, Shore Leave pays homage to the ever-popular Scorpion Bowl with their variety of shared drinks. A favorite is the Road to Guadalajara. Which is a really salty guava forward margarita variation. It has this really gorgeous yogurt foam and fermented black lime shaped over the top. And while Shore Leave itself may seem hidden, there's actually another restaurant hidden within the restaurant. No relation. It's a big space and it's really long. And jokingly, we got to the end of it, I said, God, we could almost put another restaurant within this restaurant. And I've been wanting to do sushi for a long time. So Lynch created the intimate sushi bar with two seatings each night. All we serve there are nigiri, a raw fish on rice. It's 14 courses, there aren't any choices. The chefs are making it in front of you and immediately handing it to you. You'll need to book a seat at no relation, but to dine at shore leave, just follow the signs to the tiki bar completely unexpected to have this little like oasis in the middle of Boston to come hang out, escape anything you need to escape and have fun. The Emery is a passion project of owner Andy Kilgore and chef Derek Robert. What we try to do is bring those familiar things that people may have seen at various other restaurants or even maybe they do at home, uh, just twist it up a little bit. The intimate Beacon Hill Eatery caters to a diverse crowd for both dinner and lunch. It's super eclectic. We get date night to business lunch to everything in between. Available during the day and at night, the Emery Burger is a staple with unique trimmings. We grind our burger in-house. It's a blend of three different cuts of beef, brisket, chuck, and navel. It's topped with a garlic cheddar fondue mousse and onion jam with fries on the side. There are several small plates to share or keep for yourself, like the seared scallops served with a bacon fat beurre blanc and toasted pepitas. The scallop dish is sort of a play on an old school scallop wrapped in bacon dish. There's also an avocado panna cotta. Panna cotta is traditionally a dessert. We just do a savory version of it where we replace some of the dairy with the avocado. And to drink, bar director Melissa Benson has curated a cocktail menu with something for everyone. Cinnamon. And a year-round favorite, blackberry margarita with a spicy spin, the Sgt. Pepper. This cocktail has been on the menu since the day we opened. Lining the open concept kitchen, counter seats for singles or pairs, plus a communal table to share and booths. 
And if you look closely enough, wallpaper with a musical message. We just want it to be welcoming, to be a place where people come and hang out and have a good time. And people may be wondering, I am, mm -hmm. what's behind the name Emery? Well, Emery actually means home strength, but it's actually also the real first name of the owner, Andy mm. Kilgore. Uh, his name is Emery, as well as many of the men in his family. Their name is Emery as well, but they all go by either a nickname or their middle name. Oh. So there you go. Nice homage to the family. There you go. Next, another mouth-watering menu.